I hope you guys aren't getting tired of all these bonus speed paints. I'm just trying to fill in the gaps and display Firestar's life in the most complete way that I can. So welcome back to the third bonus speed paint for day six of Firestar. I promise that it's the last one for today. The scene that my sister Rachel is going to be drawing today is of a suspicious Tiger Claw grilling Fireheart after he sees him release Silverstream and not fight her harder during the battle with RiverClan. I'll read that scene to you now. It's on pages eight through 10 of Forest of Secrets. Tiger Claw turned to face him and Fireheart tried hard not to flint at the menace in the cat's 10 shoulders. I saw you in the last battle. The deputy's voice was a low growl, and his ears were flattened against his head as he spat. I saw you let that RiverClan warrior escape. Fireheart winced, his mind flashing back to the battle in the WindClan camp. What Tigerclad said was true. Fireheart had allowed a RiverClan warrior to flee without a scratch, but not out of cowardice or disloyalty. The warrior had been Silverstream, unknown to the rest of ThunderClan. Fireheart's best friend Graystripe was in love with her, and Fireheart could not bring himself to wound her. Fireheart had done his best to talk his friend out of visiting Silverstream. Their relationship went against the warrior code and put both of them in grave danger. But Fireheart also knew that he could never betray Graystripe. Besides, Tigerclaw had no right to accuse any cat of disloyalty. He had stood on the edge of the battle, watching as Fireheart fought for his life against another RiverClan warrior and turned away instead of helping him. And that was not the worst accusation Fireheart could make against the deputy. He suspected Tigerclaw of murdering the former ThunderClan deputy Redtail and even planning to get rid of Blue Star. If you think I'm disloyal, tell Blue Star, he meowed challengingly. Tiger Claw drew back his lips in a snarl and dropped to a half crouch, sliding out his long claws. I don't need to bother, Blue Star, he hissed. I can deal with a kitty pet like you. He stared at Fireheart a moment longer. Fireheart realized with a jolt that there was a trace of fear as well as distrust in his blazing amber eyes. Tiger Claw wonders how much I know, he thought suddenly. Fireheart's friend Ravenpaw, Tigerclaw's own apprentice, had witnessed the murder of Redtail. Tigerclaw had tried to kill him to keep him quiet, so Fireheart had taken him to live with Barley, a loner who lived near the Two Lake Farm on the other side of Woodclan's territory. Fireheart had tried to tell Ravenpaw's story to Blue Star, but the clan leader believed that her brave deputy could be guilty of no such thing. As he glared at Tigerclaw, Fireheart's frustration returned. But without another word, Tigerclaw swung around and stalked away. Tigerclaw is starting to piece things together. Graystripe is always gone. Fireheart won't fight this cat because it's his best friend's girlfriend. Pretty fishy. And not just because it's happening by the river. Tigerclaw, of course, really has no right to judge others about loyalty. He killed Redtail, ThunderClan's deputy, and has tried several failed attempts at killing Blue Star. And later in the books, he gets Broken Star's old band back together to attack ThunderClan. Yeah, not exactly the picture of loyalty. Anyways, I'd love to hear in the comment section down below what you think about all this. Fireheart not hurting Silverstream in the battle, and Tigerclaw seeing it. It's surprising he didn't make a bigger deal about it. But I suppose it's because he knows the Fireheart has dirt on him too, so he doesn't dare. Let me know what you think down below. Well, I hope you enjoyed that video. Make sure to go and check out the video over on the side of my last speed paint. And click that subscribe button so you can always be notified when I make my next video. Alright guys, thank you all so much for tuning in. I'll see you soon with the next speed paint. Bye bye